Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about makeup products that I don't use but refuse to get rid of. And I'm going to explain why this video is in collaboration with my good friend Lori Sloan. I've talked about her before. I've shouted her out. Her channel is amazing. She's one of those channels that just kind of slides under the radar for absolutely no reason because she's amazing amazing so kind so honest so funny I love watching her she has one of those channels that I don't miss a video I absolutely love her so I know you guys will as well she's also going to be doing this video with me so if you want to see what products she has that she just won't get rid of but doesn't use either I will leave her link down below for you guys to check out you won't regret it she's completely amazing so let's go ahead and get into this so you can see what I'm hoarding but voices in the night whispers of double lives so the first product is a bronzer and this is from Estee Lauder this is the bronze goddess I ended up getting this from Octoly I have such a love hate relationship with this I'm actually wearing it today because I was like going through my stuff and like okay what am I hoarding that I'm not using this popped out right away and I was like oh I'm gonna use it and then I was like oh I know why I didn't use it or why I don't and it's not because it's a bad bronzer because as you can tell it's really not that bad it's humongous great to travel with it's got a great color to it it's a little orange but not too bad huge mirror that's dirty but the packaging I keep it because of the packaging <laughs> And because I've always wanted this for so long, I was so excited to get it from Octoly, and I keep it. And it's not that bad, but it is, for me, it's more of a summer bronzer because it has a sheen to it. It's not a sheen that you see very well on the face, which is something that is a reason why I keep it, but I don't use it because it's kind of shimmery and... I just I like matte bronzers so I find it very difficult to reach for this I almost never do but I won't get rid of it because it's expensive it's a very well loved product I love the packaging and I will probably end up using it more in the summer I mean if as time goes on if I don't use this in the summer if it's not a seasonal product for me at least then I will end up decluttering it but I wish that it was matte like completely flat matte Alright, the next product is also what they say is a bronzer, but it's a lie, and that is from Hard Candy, and that is the product Tiki. Now, this was, like, an everybody's must-have when I first started YouTube. It was one of those trendy products. Um, it is 129 Tiki, but it is their So Baked Bronzer. This is not a bronzer. This could be a highlighter for most people. It's very highlighter-y, um, but it's got a very beautiful sheen to it as well. You can see... It's more of a highlighter. Now, it's a little bit too light for me when it comes to an actual highlighter to put, you know, where we put our highlighters. But I like to use this with a really big fluffy powder brush all over my face. And I think that it gives you such a beautiful lit from within glow. So I keep this. But I have so many, I mean, so many other products like this that I, this is the last one. I reach for I think that since I repurchased this because this is my second one I think that since I repurchased it which was well over a year ago I've used it twice and that's it but I refuse to get rid of it because I never know when I might want to go back to using it again it is a staple product it's an amazing product it's one of those like the um uh, stay matte from Rimmel that powder everybody has it not everybody uses it constantly but we all have it in our collection because we know better than to get rid of it now I have another bronzer. This is just a deluxe size sample from Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soule. I have never had a full size Chocolate Soule. I've always just done the deluxe size samples. This product does go bad and when it does you will break out in tiny little bumps all over your face. It's not cute. So I've always just gotten the deluxe size samples. This is almost expired and I've used it once and haven't used it. I just I won't get rid of it because I I keep it as a reminder to get another deluxe size sample if I can. Maybe that I might want the actual, you know, full size bronzer at some point so I can use it regularly. But I do find that this cannot be yo used. What is wrong with me? This cannot be used as like a nose kind of contour or anything like that because it has like this red undertone. And this is in the medium deep one. It has this, it makes my nose turn red if I use it. So it's not my favorite bronzer, but it is one of those staple ones. So I won't 
take it out of my collection but I don't use it anymore either because I have other bronzers that I just I like equally that aren't as red undertoned or that I like better the next product is a concealer and this is from Mac this is the pro long wear concealer I waited so long to have this sucker and then I just I used it a few times and I've never used it again and I refuse to get rid of it this is an amazing amazing concealer however it started to change colors within the tube and I got afraid to use it and it's also a little bit of a pain in the butt because look how dirty it is it's it distributes too much product when you pump it and there's no control over that so you waste a ton of product it's not a cheap concealer at all so while it's an amazing concealer it was I just felt like I was wasting it every single time I used it so I stopped using it and then it got to the point where I'm pretty sure that it's expired and I need a new one so I keep it as a reminder but then it's too expensive for me to repurchase because I still know that it's a pain in the ass so <laughs> If they ever changed it, I would buy it again, but I won't get rid of it. I just won't. I don't know why, I just won't. The next product is from NYX, and this is their Eyebrow Shaper. It's like a wax pencil. I have had this for so long, so long. I think this might have been one of the first kind of products that I bought in a haul for my channel. I don't know why, but I never use this, but I won't get rid of it. And I think that it's because it's the only kind of wax product I have like this but I don't use it and I'm never going to. I have eyebrow gels that I absolutely love that I, makes it so I don't need this, but I won't get rid of it because it is the only one of its kind in my collection. That is where the hoarding comes in. This is where I really need to sit down and go through my collection and say, Nikki, do you really, really need that? But then the other side of me, which is like the little devil says, you never know, you just might. Okay, this product is a little irritating, you guys. You might know. You might know if you watch all of my videos why this is a little irritating. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara. I hated this. I put it in and I hauled it, but did I like it? I did not like it. I hated it. The wand is horrible. It's dangerous. It doesn't do much for your lashes. But I won't get rid of it. I, I can't. I can't let go of this because I can't pass it on to anybody because it's a mascara that's not sanitary i'm not just gonna throw this away because do you know how expensive that mascara is what do i do with you i mean it's beautiful it looks good in the collection so it's just gonna stay there but i don't use it all right the next one is the l'oreal linear eyeliner now i i like this the formula of this i absolutely love this is my second tube of this the applicator is i can't I can't use that it's like a paint tip but it's very short and flimsy and I have no control with it so I can't use this unless I have my elf precision eyeliner I need to get that and then I make my Frankenstein eyeliner where I use the formula in the tip of the elf precision eyeliner and I stick them together and I have the most perfect eyeliner for me but I haven't repurchased the elf precision eyeliner yet because I got into felt tip eyeliners so this just sits in my collection as a reminder and months pass and months pass and I'm still not using it so I need to either buy the elf precision eyeliner Frankenstein that shit or pass it on so that is not everything but most of the products in my collection that I don't use hardly ever but won't get rid of. Now I really really want to know if you guys have products like this in your collection and what they are. I want to know if we kind of you know stray away from almost the same types of products or if they're completely different based on the ind individual person. I want to know because I know everybody has those products in their collection that we don't use. And we know we shouldn't have, but we're not getting rid of them. So I will leave everything I talked about listed down below. You guys, these are not bad products, except for this one. This one, no good. These are not bad products. It's just, I have the weirdest reason why I don't use them. And it makes no sense. There's no logic in this at all. <laughs> so I will leave them listed down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any, any kind of products like this at all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you head over and check out Lori. Subscribe to her. Let her know I sent you. And check out what she has because I know I'm heading over there right now because I hope a lot of people do these types of videos. I want, I want everybody, your creator, do this video because I want to see what we all hoard that we shouldn't. 
If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.